Thanks a lot for the invitation. So today I will explain a joint work with Mihai Powell of, Mi uh, of Mihai. Uh, uh, so it's essentially an application of the positivity of the image, uh, which he explained. Uh, 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 we ha uh, which he, ha he has explained before. Uh, so, uh, so to begin with, uh, so to begin with. Uh, uh, so to begin with, uh, in the first part of the introduction, I will first explain a little bit uh, what is the Itaka conjecture, and uh, after that, I will explain what's our main theorems. Uh, so to begin with, uh, uh, so to begin with, I first record the definition of Kodaira dimension. So to begin with, uh, we assume uh, we assume that uh, x, uh, yeah, we assume that uh, x is yeah, a projective manifold, uh, manifold uh, defined over C. Uh, uh, it also holds in the compared color case. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, in this case, for the Kodaya dimension, kappa x is defined as follows: uh, If uh, the k cannot bundle of uh, x uh, is not uh, q effective, is not q effective, then in this case uh, we define the kappa x as uh, equals to minus infinity. If not, if this one is uh, Q-effective, then in this case, the kappa x is defined as the, is defined as the largest uh, number d, such that once we calculate uh, the dimension of the global section over x of the current bundle tensor sufficient times, divided by m, uh, D, say in this case, uh, if this one is uh, straight positive, uh, uh, so in the case uh, what, uh, so in the case uh, one, uh, so in the case uh, one, this one is not equals to zero. Say in this case, uh, we define the Kolaya dimension of x is the largest number d such that uh, the limit uh, such that uh, such that. Uh, such that uh, for the limit is straight positive. Uh, so one remark is that, uh, uh, and uh, so a very simple remark is that, uh, so, uh, uh, so in this case, uh, by the analogy, it's easy to see that uh, in this case, the kappa x uh, should take the values uh, in minus uh, infinity, zero, one, two, until the dimension of x. And also, another remark is, is that if we replace the Canuck bundle X by a line bundle, by a holomorphic line bundle, line, line bundle over X, uh, so, by using the, the, uh, so by using the same definition here, we can also define the, uh, we can also define the kappa uh, L with respect to air, we just replace the uh, we just replace the uh, we just replace the canonical bundle x uh, kx by the line bundle air here, and uh, so for this one we call it it's the itaka itaka dimension of the line bundle air. So now I can explain what's the itaka conjecture. So for the itaka conjecture, it says as follows. So let uh, P be a vibration. So I explain later what the vibration means. Uh, uh, between two, between two projective manifolds, x and y. And uh, so for the vibration here, I just mean that uh, P is subjective. And uh, the fiber and, and the fibers are connected. So for the generic fiber, yes. Uh, so in this case, uh, so in this case, uh, uh, so in this case, uh, uh, since we assume that it's smooth, so in this case, uh, so for the generic fiber, yes, the smooth connected manifold. Uh, Say in this case, the Itaga conjecture states that in this case we have the subadditivity. 
of the correlated dimension. So in this case, it's conjectured that kappa x is much bigger than the kappa y plus the kappa f, so where the f is the genetic fiber. Is the genetic fiber of the fibrillation P. So that's the uh, so uh, so that's the eta conjecture. Uh, so there are a lot of results about the eta conjecture. Uh, so here I just uh, list. Uh, so here I just uh, list a little bit uh, the results. Uh, so in the case of one, the dimension of y is equals to one. Uh, uh, in the case of the uh, in the case of the basis of dimension one, it's solved long ago, uh, forty years ago by Kamata. He proved that in this case the conjecture holds, and also another extreme case is in the case uh, one the fiber, one the fiber f is of general type, of general type. That means that uh, the kappa f is uh, extremal. In this case, uh, for this conjecture, it's also solved uh, by it's also solved by Kola, uh, and also the reasonable proof by Fiewege. And uh, also in the case of one f is of log general type case, it's of log general type case. So in this case, it's also uh, so in this case for this conjecture, it's also solved recently by Kovac and Pata already. And uh, yeah, so here maybe yeah. Uh, uh, so there is also another very important result, uh, which is due to Kamata. He says that if F admit a good minimum model, minimum model, that means that, uh, that means that, uh, so for this fiber, it's bioactivity equivalent uh, to a manifold, uh, 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 so for the fiber, it's bioactivity equivalent to a variety of, uh, such that it's kind of the bundle is semi-ample. In this case, uh, Kamata proves that it holds Kamata proved that the conjecture holds. Uh, so in particular, for, uh, uh, so in particular, uh, so in particular, abundance conjecture, uh, so in particular, abundance conjecture implies the Itaka conjecture. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so now I can explain our result. Um, so for our result, we prove that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so maybe I need also to. Say that that there is also, uh, <coughs> so there is also, uh, uh, so there is also another uh, more simple proof, proved by a little bit of simple proof by taken proper Schneller, and also there is a formal work due to Chen, Jun Chen, and Haken. We can prove the following things. Um, and yeah, so uh, so let let p be a vibration, be a vibration between two projective manifolds, and the letter, and then now we consider a KLT case. Uh, let be a KLT if a divisor on X. So in this case, if, uh, if uh, so in this case, if, uh, if uh, the base is uh, an abelian variety, if it's a uh, projective torus, say in this case we can prove that uh, for the high dimension of this one should be at least uh, the quadratic dimension of the fiber plus the restriction of the pair on the general fiber plus kappa y. And uh, so in this case, see, uh, so in this case, since y is an abelian variety, so we know that uh, for this one, it's equals to zero, in fact. And uh, 
yeah, uh, and the pipe, uh, and uh, and the pipe using the. Uh, and by using the argument, uh, uh, and by using the argument, that, uh, and by using that argument, that developed the, uh, 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 so by using the argument, that developed uh, in our paper, we can also prove another router. So, so we can prove another router is that if the base is, uh, uh, if the base is uh, dimension equals two two. Say in this case, we can have also this equality. So it uh, improve a little bit the result of Kamata. Say in this case, yeah. Do you assume that no component of the, every component of the other subjects going to lie? No, not necessary. So, hmm, I see. No, 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 no. Yeah. So so uh, so uh, so if we, in this case uh, so in this case uh, uh, if we strictly uh, in this part since F uh, since F uh, since F uh, since F we take it uh, to be the general fiber. So in this case for this one equals to zero. Uh, so in this case by, by uh, so, uh, uh, so in this case by using our two window set uh, this one is much bigger than this one. And uh, if we add a pair, it has more, more sections. Yeah. So, so it's nothing. Yeah. Uh, uh, so for the proof of our router, uh, so for the proof of our router, it's based on the work. Uh, so for the proof of our, of our router, it's based uh, on, on a lot of works. So for the proof of of our reality, it's based on the positivity of, of uh, on the positivity of the relative kind of bundle, which is already explained uh, uh, in the talks of Mihai. Uh, so in the second part, I just uh, recall briefly. Uh, uh, so in the second part, I just uh, recall briefly what uh, he has explained in his course. Uh, so second part is the positivity. Positivity, positivity of the relative canal bundle and also the positivity of the direct image. So here we, we take a, uh, uh, so, so here, we, uh, so for the n pair, we take uh, n to be a number and uh, maybe we assume that uh, and, uh, and uh, maybe we assume that uh, m is larger than two, and uh, and uh, we assume that uh, for the direct image, uh, it is not equals to zero. So that's just a means that uh, that's just a means that uh, for 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 uh, that's means just uh, uh, that just means that for generic point uh, in y for this direct image here. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yes, uh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so for our proof, uh, 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 so from now on, uh, so from now on, uh, so from now on, we just assume that uh, for the pair data equals to zero. Uh, uh, so for the reason of simplicity. Uh, so in the general case, uh, for the proof, it's almost the, the same proof. As before, uh, so for now, um, for simplicity, we just assume that the delta equals to zero. The general proof uh, will be essentially the same proof. Uh, so in this case, uh, uh, so in this case, it's not equal to zero. That just means that for the gem here, which is equals to the this one, is not equals to zero. We have at least one section. For every uh, for genetic fiber, say in this case, uh, uh, say in this case, uh, so maybe I just recall. Uh, uh, so thanks to Bo Bedson and uh, Mihai. He has already explained in his course. Uh, in this case, uh, he said that uh, we can find a so-called uh, M, a so-called uh, M relative uh, M Bergman kernel. Kernel type matrix, 
you know, type matrix, which we write as uh, HB on the relevant kernel window, such that uh, once we calculate the curvature of it, it might be a singular matrix in this case. Its curvature is semi-positive on the total space X in the sense of current. Yeah. I need to recall. And so, so, uh, so, so, uh, so, uh, uh, so I just say, uh, so I just recall a little bit of set. Uh, uh, so I just uh, explain a little bit of set. Uh, so by the definition here, uh, so the restriction of the this metric on the fiber, on a generic fiber, uh, is constricted by, is constricted by, by the sections. Yes, constructed by the sections of this one. Yeah. Uh, so for the yeah, so for the constructions, I think that it's already explained by Mihai. Uh, and I need also another router, which is also proved by uh, and it, which is also proved in his paper uh, 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 in his paper with Bo, and that is that uh, it's uh, proved by. Uh, and uh, Takayama. Still in this setting, still in this setting, and now we take a, we just take air to be the m minus one relative uh, kernel window, and uh, on air we equipped it with the matrix uh, as uh, as the HB. So HB is on the relative kernel window. It should tends as uh, M minus ten times. Say in this case, uh, uh, say in this case, uh, um, say in this case, let let y one in y be the be the locally free free locus of the direct image plus air, which is equals to the to this one, because up your key for this direct image is just a coherent sheaf, so we just take the locally free locus of it. So for the complementary is of code machine at least two in Y. Uh, uh, let Y one, uh, uh, so let Y one be the locally free locus of it, uh, and uh, and let Y zero in Y one. Yeah, uh, so, uh, we can prove, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so uh, yeah, uh, uh, so let, uh, so, uh, so let Y0 be the smooth locus, be the smooth locus of the fibration P. That's just the main set of for embedded fiber over Y0. So for the fiber, uh, so so for the fiber is yes, smooth. Uh, and by in, uh, and by in, uh, and by the inverse of Li Xiangke, we know that it's in fact included in Y1. Uh, so uh, uh, so uh, 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 so let Y be this one. Say in this case, uh, uh, say in this case, uh, they prove that uh, there exists a possible. Uh, so, so there exists a possible singular matrix, possible singular matrix, which is called the, uh, which is called the, the Nahashimha matrix on the direct image. So here we just uh, defined all the, over the locally free locus on this one, such that, uh, such that uh, this one. <laughs> Uh, such that, uh, so for this uh, sing possible single image, uh, uh, so for this uh, possible single image, up your key, it's not necessarily smooth, uh, but in, it's in fact bounded. But in fact, it's bounded on y zero, and uh, and uh, it's positively curved in the and uh, it's positively curved in the sense of uh, Griffiths. Uh, y one, so uh, so uh, so for this one, that's uh, uh, so for the positivity of this one. I don't know if it's already explained uh, in, um, but, but you have already explained. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, so. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, 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 maybe I explain that a little bit uh, uh, the construction of H. Uh, so on the uh, so le uh, so let uh, y be a pointer in y zero. Say in this case, uh, uh, so let uh, y be a pointer in y zero. So in this case, so, so for the direct image here, we know that it's just equal to this one. So therefore, we want to define the metric uh, on, on this space. Uh, how we define it? Uh, uh, we, uh, we take uh, a section here. Say so in this case, we should define the metric H. It's defined as the integration of the section S and with respect to H L. Yeah. So in this case, we know that for this one, it's a volume form. Um, and by the construction of uh, and by the construction of the backbone kernel type matrix, it's easy to check that for this one it's finite. So therefore, that's it's plain set of for this matrix it's in fact uh, bounded on y zero. Uh, so uh, um, and uh, so uh, uh, and uh, so, uh, and uh, so therefore we know that for this matrix it's in fact. Uh, Bounded on y zero, and after that, uh, uh, and after that, we can prove that, uh, and after that, we can prove that, uh, in fact, we can extend the the matrix uh, uh, as a possible singular matrix uh, on y one, and uh, so uh, and uh, so for the notion of weakly positive curve, that just means that. Uh, And so for this one, yes, yeah, the weakly positive curve. So that just means that on on y one. So that just means that uh, that just means that for uh, uh, that just means that uh, um, that just means that letter e be the dual. Yeah. So uh, that just means that for every open set, for every open set. In Y one, every open set, and uh, for every open set, uh, for every open set, uh, so, uh, for every topological open set in Y one, and uh, every section in the dual, in the dual of, uh, in the dual of this vector bundle, here we know that. Uh, 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 so, so for every section here, we say that it's weakly semi-positive. The, so we say that it's weakly. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, we say that uh, we say that it's positively curved in the sense of Gracie. Uh, that just means that for every topological open set in Y one and every section here. So in this case, we can consider the function log uh, s. Uh, uh, so here we take the direct, uh, uh, so so here we take the dual of this one. So therefore we should take the dual of this matrix as a, a PSH function on you. Yeah, because we know that why one uh, because uh, well, uh, uh, so because we well, because uh, uh, because uh, we know that y zero uh, it might be a strictly uh, 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 subset in Y one. Uh, so in this case, uh, uh, so in this case, by the construction here, we know only that uh, for the matrix H here, it's bounded uh, on this set. Uh, uh, it's bounded uh, on this set. Uh, uh, so on the complementary in Y zero, it might be uh, infinity. Uh, um, but uh, uh, but for this definition, it still holds. And one more remark is that. Uh, and one more remark is that if. Uh, uh, if in the case H is smooth, if the matrix is a smooth Hermitian matrix, then in this case, uh, for this notation, it's equivalent to say that uh, it's positively curved. It's positively curved. It's equivalent to say that uh, it's equivalent to say that it's graph is semi positive. It's a graph is semi positive.
Yeah, uh, so, uh, so, that's a, yeah, so that's the explanation of the result of Mihai and Takayama. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and as a corollary, by using a result of Rufi, we know that in this case, uh, uh, we know that in this case, actually induce, uh, induce uh, a matrix that we write as determined H on the determined uh, of the direct image. And in this case, since it's of rank one, we can take the double dual, it's a line bundle on the total space Y, such that, uh, such that once we calculate the curvature of it, it will be semi-positive in the sense of current on the total space Y. And now I will, uh, uh, so now I will explain two propositions which will be crucial in the proof of our odds. So for the first proposition is that uh, still under this condition, yeah, uh, still, uh, still, uh, still under the construction here, one proposition is that let, let U be some open set, be some open set in Y, not necessary in Y1. It's an open set, topological open set in Y. If, if the curvature of the determinant of the direct image here is identical equals to zero on U, then in this case, in fact, we can prove that for the direct image here, With respect to H, yes, Hermitian flat, yes, a Hermitian flat vector bundle. Vector bundle on U, not only on U intersect with Y1. Uh, so, so, uh, so, so, I think that I don't have enough time to explain the proof. Uh, so I just explained the idea of the proof of proposition one. Uh, in the case of one, H is smooth. In this case, for the proof, it's very simple. If, if H is a smooth commission metric, uh, say in this case, uh, uh, say in this case, it's uh, very uh, So in this case, it's, uh, uh, it's very easy to, it's very, very elementary to see that uh, for this direct image here, Yes, just equals to the trace of uh, the curvature. We have this one on U intersector with Y one, and now uh, and now we assume that for this one is identical equals to zero. So here we know that in the case one it's smooth. So it's uh, 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 so here in the in, uh, in the case one H is smooth. So we know that. Uh, uh, so in the case one, H is smooth. Uh, so we know that uh, thanks to the result of uh, of Mihai and Takayama, we know that uh, uh, for the direct image curvature here, it's semi-positive in the sense of Griffiths. Uh, so for this one, it's a semi-positive matrix. Uh, 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 and if the trace equals to zero, so that will imply that, uh, and uh, so that will imply that uh, for the direct image here. Should be Hermitian flat on U intersect with Y1, and that uh, um, um, and after set by uh, um, and after set uh, and after set uh, by using a little bit uh, more argument, we can prove that it's in fact a Hermitian flat on the total space U. Since here it comes from the direct image here. Uh, so I have, have uh, so I have so I have no time to explain the last one, uh, and uh, and, and uh, so to prove our result, we need also another proposition, which is essentially proved by by Fivega, and also we follow a proof of Tuji, uh, which says as following is. Uh, uh, 
so in the talk of Mihai, uh, so we know that in the talk of Mihai, uh, he proves that if the direct image of reality kind of cannot bundle is not equal to zero, then in this case, uh, he proved that for the relative cannot bundle uh, uh, kx over y, it's uh, pseudo effective. That means that we can find a possible single matrix such that it's uh, semi positive in the sense of current on x. Uh, but uh, uh, but uh, for for the following proposition here, uh, in fact, uh, uh, so in the proposition two here, in fact, we want to, uh, uh, in fact, in proposition two, we want to compare the positivity of the relative kind of bundle and the, the, the and the, the and the, the direct image of the relative kind of bundle. Uh, uh, so the proposition two says that in fact, uh, uh, the proposition two says that in fact, uh, so for the relative common bundle here, it's in fact more positive than the direct image. So that's as follows. Uh, so still in this setting, uh, say in this case, uh, we can prove that uh, we can find some small epsilon positive, which depends on M and uh, and uh, some divisor on x uh, such set uh, for um, uh, such set uh, so for this uh, such set uh, so for this divisor here it's in fact very small it's in fact of uh, is of co-dimension complex co-dimension at least two at least two at least two in Y, and uh, and more importantly, we can prove that for the relative common bundle plus E is much bigger than the direct image. So that means that uh, it's much bigger than the. So for the direct image, it uh, comes from the base. So we need to take the determinant of this one. So now this one becomes a lamp bundle on the base, and we pull back it on the total space X. So for here, it's uh, uh, so for here, it's a class in on X such that it's pseudo effective on the total space X. So in particular, uh, so in particular, yeah, uh, so in particular, uh, so in particular, if for this one. It's a big line bundle on the base, so therefore the proposition implies that uh, for the relative kind of bundle, modulo uh, sense, sense modifier here, it will be strictly positive for, uh, in the horizontal direction. And uh, so that's the proposition two. Now I will explain the main, uh, now I will explain the proof of our results. In fact, for the, the divisor E here is in fact harmless uh, because of the fact that uh, uh, for its image uh, on Y is of co-dimension in two. Uh, when we prove the Itaka conjecture, uh, it's easy to get rid of uh, this divisor E. So uh, yeah, so, uh, so now for the third part, I will explain the proof of our theory. So we talk about the, the results. Uh, two cases. Uh, uh, so for, for the first case, we let us uh, assume that the P be a vibration, be a vibration between two projective manifolds, uh, and uh, and in the case uh, we first explain the case one, Y is uh, a abelian variety. So in this case, we want to show that. Uh, so in this case, uh, we need to prove. We need to prove that. Uh, for the collider dimension of X uh, is much bigger than the collider dimension of the fiber. Because in this case, uh, Y is an abelian variety, so for the collider dimension of Y is equals to, to zero. Uh, so that's, uh, namely, we want, to, we want to construct a lot of uh, sections a lot of sections uh, in in the direct image of uh, this one 
which is just equals to since y uh, since y is an abelian vector, so we know that its kind of window is trivial. So it's just equal to this one. So it's going to say that uh, once we can find a lot of global section here, so for this one, it's just equal to x minus x. So, uh, so, therefore, to, uh, so therefore, to prove the eta conjugate, in fact, we just want to find a lot of global section uh, on the direct image here. So here we have already uh, show, show uh, so here, uh, so here, uh, thanks to the lot of uh, time, uh, we have already know that uh, we have uh, we can find a some positive matrix uh, on it. Uh, uh, so now we want to construct a lot of a lot of global sections. So for the step one, so for the step one, in fact, we need a simplification. Uh, in fact, we can we can assume that. Uh, in fact, in the step one, uh, we we would like to show that uh, uh, we can assume. We can assume that y is a simple torus. Is a simple torus. <laughs> that just means that there is no strict subtorus in y. Why we can? Uh, why we can assume this one? Uh, so for the reason is that in fact, in fact. In fact, for this inequality, it's in fact, uh, uh, in fact, uh, for this inequality, it's in fact invariant after finite a delta cover. That means that uh, if we take uh, some, in fact, if we take uh, uh, some y theta, which is a finite uh, a delta cover, a delta cover, which is means that uh, so for this one, uh, it's a finite cover and uh, no ramified locus, uh, and uh, here it's the product. If we can prove the inequality for this vibration, uh, say in this case, it will imply that uh, we have also the inequality uh, on this vibration. Uh, so for this factor, it's uh, well known. Uh, uh, so we assume that it's, uh, uh, it's a finite data cover. Yeah, but you want to the possibility. Hmm? No, no. Uh, so uh, uh, since there is no, uh, since there is no, uh, since there is no ramified locus so for, the, for the color dimension of this one, it's because uh, uh, all the color dimension requires size. Yeah. So, so it's uh, a check. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, uh, so by using this router. Uh, so, uh, so by using this route, uh, uh, so by using this route, we know that uh, uh, if y is not a simple, is not a simple torus, say in this case it will imply that, uh, say in this case by Bonga-Hayes reductibility theorem. That will imply that uh, after some finite eta cover, after some finite eta cover, some finite eta cover, eta cover. So, for example, what, well, so for example, once y is a torus, after some finite eta cover, it's also a torus. So, so for the collider, it's sort of the word be the same. Uh, uh, we can assume. Uh, uh, if it's not a simple torus, then in this case, after some finite data cover, we know that y can be written as the product of two torus. There are two subtorus in y. And uh, so in fact, in this case, we can prove that, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, once we have this route, uh, so in this case, uh, for the vibration here, we have another projection to the another torus set. Uh, so in this case, uh, for the inequality here, we can prove it by the induction on the dimension of the base. So, uh, so we, we can prove the inequality here can be proved can be proved by induction on the dimension of y. Yeah. So for the advantage of this construction is that uh, so 
So for the advantage of this congestion is that uh, So the advantage of this kind of searching is that, in fact, in this case, uh, uh, so uh, in this case, uh, once y is a simple torus, uh, uh, say in this case, uh, for every pursuit effective line bundle on y, there is only two, two possible cases. So the advantage of that. Advantage of uh, advantage of this one is that uh, if y is a simple torus, in this case uh, we can easily prove that if l uh, over y is uh, pursued effective, then it will imply that uh, y uh, uh, if it's a pursued effective line bundle on x on y, then in this case it will imply that yes uh, y l is uh, uh, whether uh, a topological uh, trivial line bundle, that means that uh, it's C1 class equals to one. Or L is ample. So for this one, it's in fact quite easy uh, to check, uh, but I have no time to explain it. Uh, uh, so, that's the, uh, so that's the advantage of this assumption. Uh, so now for step two, so now for step two, uh, so now for step two, now we, we can use, uh, so now for step two, we can use the result of uh, uh, the Takayama. So in this case, uh, by the result of Takayama, we know that uh, for the black image of this one, by applying their result, we know that it's positively curved on um, y1. And also, we know that uh, by using the result of rule phi, we know that uh, for the determinant window, it's uh, positive, uh, semi-positive in the sense of current on the total space Y. And uh, in particular, we know that uh, for this one, it's pursuit effective. And uh, now by using this route, we know that, uh, uh, and now by using this route, we know that uh, for this pursuit effective line bundle, it should be whether equals uh, ample or it's topologically trivial. So therefore, we know that uh, for the determined, and, yeah, yes. Is topologically trivial or ample. So now there are essentially two cases we need to check. Now step three, we check the case when it's topologically trivial. If the determined bundle is uh, it's C1 class equals to zero, if it's topologically trivial, Say in this case, uh, say in this case, uh, uh, say in this case, uh, since for this current, uh, it's in the class of, uh, uh, it's in the class of this determinant, and and uh, for this one, it's equals to zero. So for a semi-positive current, uh, it's equals to zero. So in this case, it's identically equals to zero. So that means that, uh, so for this one, for the determinant. Uh, This one, it's in fact uh, identical equals to zero on the total space Y. So now we are in a position to apply proposition one. Now by input, uh, so by using proposition one, we know that uh, for the direct image here, it's in fact a Hermitian flat. It's a Hermitian flat vector bundle, vector bundle. On Y. Once we know that it's a Hermitian flat vector bundle on Y, since Y is an ablative variety, we know that uh, since Y is an ablative variety, we know that uh, so for the fundamental group of Y is also abelian, uh, is abelian. 
So in this case, so once it's representation, uh, it's uh, it's uh, in, in the unitary group. Uh, so therefore, we, uh, since for the fundamental group is abelian, we know that uh, uh, we know that uh, we know that in fact uh, for the direct image here, it can be split as the direct sum of uh, numerical trivial line bundle on Y. So, so here I is the rank of of the rank of the direct image. So by using this uh so here we use the fact that uh, the fundamental group is abelian, and uh, so we are L I they are numerical true. So how many times I have? Huh? I six minutes. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, so as we we know this route, uh, uh, so after that, uh, so after that, uh, so after that, uh, so by using a route of uh, Campana, Campana and Petronella. Uh, uh, so by using a lot of Campana and Petronella, which based on a lot of uh, Simpson, uh, we can easily prove that uh, for the. Uh, since for the direct image here, we know that it's in fact a numerical trivial, uh, and by using a lot of Campana uh, and Petronella, we can in fact prove that uh, uh, we can uh, we can in fact uh, construct a lot of global sections. So so that will imply that uh, for this one, it's uh, much bigger than this one. Uh, so I have no time to. So I'm sorry. Uh, so for the last step, I have not enough time to explain it. Uh, but it's essentially, uh, but it's essentially based on a lot of company and And now I uh, now I explain uh, the last step. And uh, so for the step four, we are in the K, uh, we have already explained that uh, for the direct image here. Uh, since we assume that y is a simple torus, uh, so for the determinant of direct image, it's uh, equals to a trivial topological trivial line bundle or an ample line bundle. So in the uh, second part, uh, we need to state the case uh, when the direct image is, uh, is uh, ample. If uh, the direct image is ample, so in this case, because I list also the second proposition, we are, uh, so in the second case, we need to apply the second proposition. So in this case, by using proposition two, that will imply that uh, it will, if, if uh, uh, it will imply that uh, for this one, it's, uh, it will, will be, yes, pseudo defective. Uh, so in fact, as we explained before, uh, so in fact, uh, uh, so in fact, uh, as we explained before, since the image here is of co-dimension at least two, uh, 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 since for this device, uh, it's in fact a small device, uh, so in this case, uh, uh, so in this case, there is a standard uh, so in this case, there is a uh, the, so there uh, there is a standard method uh, to get rid of the to get uh, uh, to get rid of uh, this uh, uh, small divisor. Uh, so for simplicity, we just assume that e is equal to zero. Uh, so in this case, uh, that implies that uh, since this one is ample, so that will imply that uh, for this very uh, kind of window is uh, positive, yes, uh, really positive. Positive in the horizontal direction. So therefore, set will, uh, and so therefore, by using the result of uh, Bo and the uh, Paul uh, Mihai, and uh, after set uh, and uh, and together with uh, essentially by using our Savati Gauche extension theorem, we can prove that. Uh, so for this one, maybe another m. So for m large. Enough. We can prove that uh, by using the result and uh, together with our statistical extension, we can prove that uh, for this uh, for the restriction map, 
is suggestive. For, so therefore, that will imply that kappa x is much bigger than kappa f. So I have uh, one minute or, yeah, so, uh, uh, so in the last one minute, uh, uh, so maybe I explained a little bit the idea uh, of the proof uh, in case uh, one. One y is uh, a surface, uh, and uh, one y is a surface, uh, and one is uh, one y is a surface. Uh, uh, one y is a surface. Uh, in fact, in this case, it's quite easy to check that uh, for the collide dimension, it's an invariant number after birational, uh, after birational equivalent. Uh, so in this case, so we can run the MMP on Y. So therefore, in particular, we can assume that uh, for the canonical bundle of Y is uh, semi-ample. And in this case, in the case, uh, if the colliding heart dimension is much bigger than one, then, uh, then in this case, it's well known due to the result of Vega. So the only interesting case is in the case uh, when the colliding dimension of base is equal to zero. So in this case, uh, uh, so in this case, uh, uh, so in this case, uh, uh, so after some finite it does cover, we know that uh, since we assume that it's minimal, then in this case we know that uh, y should be a torus or a K3 surface. In the case one, y is torus, it's uh, already proved. Uh, and in the case one, it's a K3 surface, so in this case we still, um, um, and uh, so therefore we still study the direct image here. And we know that for this one, it's a pseudo effective line bundle on Y. And in the case one, Y is a K3 surface. Say in this case, the say in this case, we know that if L is a K3 surface, uh, it's the K3 surface, and Y, one L is pseudo effective uh, by using the Sarasky decomposition. And uh, by using the kamata Vega vanishing theorem and the Heman Rocher, it's easy to check that for the collide dimension of air should be equal to the numerical dimension of air. And in the case one, the collide dimension of air is uh, at least one. So in this case, uh, by following almost uh, the same proof uh, as here, we can prove the uh, we can prove the Itaka conjecture. So the difficulty case is in the case when the quadratic dimension equals to zero. So in this case, uh, uh, that just means that uh, so for the quadratic dimension of this one equals to zero. So that's the difficult case. Uh, but in this case, by using the Sarasky deposition, we know that uh, for the direct image here, it should be equivalent to, to the sum of uh, some exceptional locus. Uh, so, so it's uh, so it's uh, some exceptional divisor. So, so for this one, it's it's it's, it's in fact uh, the minus one rational curve on um, y, uh, and by using a lot of campana, and by using a lot of campana, uh, we can prove that in fact uh, we can in fact uh, prove that. Uh, so for the fundamental group outside the the exceptional locus uh, will be very simple. Uh, so by following almost uh, the same proof uh, as in step three, we can also prove the Itaka inequality. So let's finish proof. Thank you.